some did, some of them didn't. And then, in the space of about two hours, they had to go through that exercise that we all go through of, if you had 90 minutes, what would you grab out of your house if you had to start all over again? Some of them couldn't grab anything, and some of them lost absolutely everything. The view from Linda Ma's house is incredible. Massive boulders, wide open spaces. That's what I call this, the IMAX theater. You watch the planes dropping the slurry. It was, yeah. it was pretty amazing. Ten years ago, the Arnell Hill fire started not too far over that ridge. But it was nothing to get too worried about. After all, it was small and headed away from Linda's house. Away from Jerry Foreman's house, too. Everybody said, it's nothing, it's nothing. And we saw the, the, the start of the fire up the hill. And, um, and then we go, oh, yeah. You know, and we just watched it for a while, not thinking anything about it. Some of us packed. I started packing, you know, my stuff just in case. We filled the cars and we filled the RV back up. And um, then we took up a drive up onto the hill. And we were up there on, t on the hill when uh, the fire changed. I saw the flames just right over there, just beyond the rocks here. And that's pretty close. And then so I started screaming telling everybody, gotta go, let's go, you know, because it was right there. Jerry's house, filled with her art, her books, it all had to be left behind. I had to tell them all goodbye, and all that was gone. Precious mementos and all, everything had to be, I just had to say goodbye. And a friend that was on the mountain watching said that our house burned very quickly after that. It was so erratic, it went I like to describe it as an octopus, the arms of an octopus. It just hit this house, but not that one, and that house, but not that one. The fire took 127 structures, including Jerry's house and Linda's. When the evacuation was lifted, Jerry and her family came back to sift through what was left. I felt very grateful to find this set. A few pieces of charred ceramic, salt and pepper shakers, not much else. The house was flattened, twisted. Linda rebuilt a new house in the same place with the same view of the valley that she loved. This is the same spot. It was a, it was a small two-bedroom house, and it just burned to the ground. Jerry thought about rebuilding, but couldn't. They bought a surviving house down the road. We had built numerous houses in our married life, and we knew what it meant, and we just decided we didn't want to have to do that again. Ten years after the fire, there's new art in Jerry's house, new books, too, about the fire that changed their lives and took 19 others. I don't think about it every day. I, uh, um, I did a lot of work emotionally and psychologically to um, move on. I don't grieve for the house any longer. I don't grieve for the things any longer. I have many wonderful memories, but I do grieve for the 19 men. Sometimes the waves come, like all of a sudden you're hit with the, the loss again. It's 10 years already, but we're still, it comes up. Linda says her new house is almost the way she wants it. It's not what it was, but then neither is anyone who lived through the fire. But it's all still here, and so are they. We were all bound by that common loss. The beauty of the place is here. It was here before, and it's here now, too. Hey guys, that's something that Linda Ma actually told me, is that the entire idea of rebuilding their houses, rebuilding where they were when they fell the first time, was they want Yarnell to come back the same way. And really, to go there 10 years later, it has. You could almost tell nothing happened there, yeah. Yeah, unless you knew what it looked like before. You know what I was thinking when I was watching your story and, and having spent this day hearing the gut-wrenching stories of these families? If it was any other fire and no one had died and you lost 127 structures, homes, it would be the biggest story of the year. Right. But all of that takes a back seat to the fact that these poor 19 hotshots perished. And really, except for the homeowners, no one cares about that. And you know, I asked Linda also uh, the same question. I said, you know, your house was burned and this whole fire took 19 lives. Was it worth it? She goes, no. She said it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it to save the houses or save the town, but it happened. And in the rebuilding, that's where we have to honor the 19 lives that it right. took to rebuild this town. Almost for them. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you so much.